So we're just gonna do a sped up version for this look in this video today. I did part of my face off camera, so I covered my brows with glue and powder, and then I color corrected them with the Flash Palette Orange, and then foundation as well. I did use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on my face, as well as the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. If you guys wanna see a new video where I talk through these geometric looks, then I can definitely do that. Just leave me a comment down below so I know you wanna see that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is map out my face. So sometimes I sketch out what I want to do and sometimes it's just on the fly. This one I did sketch out roughly what I wanted to do, so I am referencing that. I use the Mayron Cream Blend Stick in white as always. And then I just sometimes use this piece of cardboard, just any kind of cardboard to get a straight line. Again, it's not going to be perfect, we will clean that up after. It just helps leave negative space where we don't want the cream blend stick to go. Okay, so now I am going into the fun part, which is the eyeshadows. Taking the lightest shade in one of the Urban Decay Vice palette. We're just taking this and we are going into the parts that we want to show the shadows. Okay, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, as I mentioned. So the rest of the face is done using this. We are getting into this shade and just deepening the shadow. So we are now just going to go back in with that Morphe blending brush and blend out all of the colors as always. So now I'm going into the second shade in the palette. So it's just going to be a deeper version of the first color. So we are just going to start taking this along the line where the white Krylon paint stick meets the shadows that we have been using. So now we are getting into the third shade. So the third shade is more of a red brown and we are going to take this on a thicker liner brush and go into the very corner or the very edge of the crease. So now I'm going in with the last shade. This is the deepest brown from the Modern Renaissance palette. Okay everyone, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see more in-depth tutorial about these geometric looks that I do, then let me know. I can always do a step-by-step. -step. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Baby, yes, baby, can you take a photo like you did last time? Yeah! I can do that!